Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by Photoshop Elements users. Today's question comes from Sarah, and Sarah asks about how do I change the colors in a pattern? Well, Sarah, let's help you do that. First thing I want to do is create a new document. So I'm going to go ahead and create file, new blank file, and doesn't matter the settings, just as long as we have some space to work with. And for folks who don't know about adding patterns to a file, it's as simple as going under Edit, Fill, and picking the contents. I'm going to pick Pattern. And then down here in the Custom Pattern, we can pick from lots of built-in patterns, or I've gone ahead and installed Sue's Textile Patterns, which is what Sarah was asking about. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick one. So let's pick that one and hit OK, and that pattern will automatically fill into whatever part of my photo or document I have selected. Let's zoom in a little bit uh, so we can see what's going on here. All right, here we've got a pretty interesting pattern. And there's a couple different ways to change the colors in this pattern. The first one is to add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to come over here in my Layers panel, and at the top, this little icon here is how I can create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to select Hue and Saturation. And that'll bring up the Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer Control Panel. And a couple things I can do. I just grab this Hue slider and start sliding it around, and you can see I can get all kinds of different color combinations. I'm basically changing the hue of every single color in my photo. And so I can mess around, find one I like, and stick with that. Just close this and I'm done. Uh, hit reset to come back to my original. If I don't want to change all the colors, I can select which colors I'm varying the hue of. So if I just want to change, say, the magentas, I can pick magentas, and then again slide that hue slider, and you can see only the magenta colors are changing. Or if I wanted to change just maybe the yellows, I can change that as well. A little more subtle effect here because my original doesn't have too many yellows. Uh, or maybe some blues. There you go. That's a little more obvious. So that's one way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and reset, close this, and actually drag this adjustment layer to the trash because the other technique that I want to do is be very specific about what colors I want to change. So with my uh, layer selected with all the patterns on it, I can come under the Enhance menu, I can come to Adjust Color, and select Replace Color. And that'll bring up the Replace Color dialog box. I would select uh, this little eyedropper here and click on my image. You can see whatever color I click on is shown in the color palette here. So if I want to replace the whites or maybe the purples or the blues, I can click on whatever I want. So let's go replace maybe the purples. So here's the color I have selected that I want to replace. And then down below is what I want to replace it. And I can, again, slide the sliders around uh, to get what I want. Or I can go click this little uh, color chiclet here and pick any specific color. So maybe if I wanted reds, I can pick that. Or maybe convert it to yellows or some oranges or some deep dark blues. Whatever I want, uh, you can see as I make my different selection, it's instantly applied to my pattern over here on the left. So maybe let's give it uh, some deep dark reds, hit OK, and there you go. We've been able to change from this color combination to this color combination. Sarah, I hope that gets you going with changing colors in Photoshop elements. Hope you have some fun. Take care.